What's up everyone, welcome to another video. So now we're in the lovely community of Caymanas Country Club Estates and we're checking out another solar powered air conditioning unit. It's on 16 degrees Celsius and that green indicates that it's getting all that energy, hope you can see, all that energy from the sun. This version is the Dai version. So Dai Inverter, there's a company in China and they make a lot of energy storage products. This device is a solar powered air conditioning unit. They also make inverters, they also make energy storage system, you know, batteries and so forth. But we're checking out their solar powered air conditioning unit. And this customer is using this 18,000 BTU in his cooling room or cooling container for his farm produce and only uses five solar panels, five 430 watts monocrystalline panels to cool or provide energy to the air conditioning unit to cool these produce so <laughs> we're gonna check it out and we're gonna show you all that it's capable of and um, you know more insights for you it's used on the surge protector uh, we mind that the electricity, it can, the unit can work with electricity yeah. as usual, but it's, it's straight solar, right? So that's, that's that. So we have the fuse, the surge protector, and fuse, um, and then straight. As mentioned, everything is wired in series. The panels are wired in series, yes. and, and it then comes. come down. You have a live and a uh, positive and negative, live and neutral. And it comes all the way down. So this is the ground. ground. Grounded here, okay. as you can see, properly grounded, and then taken from the box, and then two ends, and then from here, box straight across. Well, across to the unit. Quick thing, guys, I don't know if you can see, but this is a gold fin um, condenser. And what that does, you normally have them blue fin, gold fin, but what it does is to slow down the process or eliminate the whole process of rusting. So as you can see here, it's gold fin. This particular dye unit is a gold fin condenser. Still running. The unit? Yeah. The unit is still running. You feel, you feel like cool? Yeah. It's well cool in here. This is the 18,000 BTU dye solar hybrid air conditioning unit. As you can see, it's fully running only on solar power. And it's overcast. And it's, it's overcast. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what the sky looks like right now. This is the sky condition. Right now, that's what we're seeing. To show you how powerful this is blowing you can look at the flowers are these plants right here and what it's doing is cooling grown provision this is actually like a cooler two more cabbage is actually test running them see yeah two months this is two month old cabbage in the container with the AC unit. With the AC unit. Yeah. So these are market ready. So what I'll do, I would just leave the, the, the outer shell and now just, just peel back. See? Fresh cabbage. You can't tell if they're not just coming from the farm. Sweet corn. Sweet corn going over two months as well. These are the sweet corns. Going over two months. Going over two months. That, that's the sweet corn. And they're relatively fresh. I mean, they're old, but relatively fresh. Still healthy. If you, if you look at the greens, see? Those, see? Don't, don't have to go very far to see that they're still healthy. 
try to see it goes for you. And then we have uh, plantings. What I realized happened with the plantings, the plantings will stay as you bring them in the container. Yeah. So if they are green, they will stay green. If they are ripe, they will stay, stay ripe. And what I realized, when somebody asks me for it, won't move, it won't be green and then get ripe while it's in the container. It, it slows it down. Okay. It slows it down. So if I want ripe planting, what I can do, I remove them from the crates and actually spread them out over the potatoes. Yeah. So the byproduct of the potatoes will actually be absorbed in the green planting and then cause them to ripe. Um, Understanding from here, I realize yes. that the AC unit is actually on. 16 so yes. that's the lowest and i just you saw earlier it's an overcast sky and it's still running and it's still running sweet potatoes i mean fresh just the same as you can see the sweet potatoes here well red well fresh and the are actually two weeks old two I weeks i can actually pick up one and look at it you see um, how, how fresh it is you can't tell if it's not just coming from the farm If you break the tip, break any other tip and you'll see. It's not, it's not that hard to break. Yeah. Because it, it, it's still not, not showing not showing any oldness to it. Still not showing any oldness to it. See? When when the old would actually harder to break. Yeah. But it's easily just typical one that breaks up. Alright, see so there's a there's a little more. Sun coming up, so you see the little green. Little yeah. green um, so as you can see here, guys, it's on 16 degrees Celsius. There's a green indicator. Meaning that it's getting sufficient sunlight. Exactly. And if you are in here, you'll feel how cool it is at this time. It is approximately what time now? It's about 7, 8, 12. Just a minute after 8 o'clock here in Jamaica and overcast skies and this is working perfectly again this is not on gps power no. this is just on this is total solar independent of any kind of electricity <laughs> now mark you the unit can use electricity yeah right for suppose you're in an area where it's there's a whole lot of rainfall and um, just stay overcast right the unit can use electricity yeah. But this presently, um, it's independent. There's no wire running from the house to it. Yeah. And so, as it relates to price, I don't worry about price. I determine my price. And I determine when I sell my goods. Yeah. If the price isn't right, I keep it. Because at the end of the day, I don't have to contend that boy I cut off light from the unit. Yes. Right? And then contend that I'm a light bill is going up. Make the investment. And it's just total independent of current. So I don't have to worry about, oh, okay, I'm going to have to rush to get out the goods yeah. because my light bill is going to go up and it's not going to compensate me yeah. for, the, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the return from the goods. It's all sunlight all that's providing sunlight the, sun, that the, the, providing the power. The power. And, and the beauty about this is this could have been placed anywhere. Yes. Anywhere in the world. This could have been placed on my farm. Yeah. But I choose to put it in the back of the yard so as a logistics then, so to speak. So when I pull up from the farm, I just come, put it here, and then I can go from here to the restaurants, the supermarket, to individual, whoever wants it. The, the other thing I was thinking about is you have certain office containers that set yes. up temporarily exactly. and need cooling. This is it. This uh, is perfect, perfect idea. Perfect. So, uh, and then you can also go as um, according to the size. Yes. According to the size of the unit, um, how much it will take to cool it. But this is very, 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 very cool. Yeah. So, this container is a 15 by 7 by 7. Yeah. 15 by 7 by 7. I'm using an 18,000. 12,000 could have done it. 12,000 could have done it. But because of, you know, the business that you're in, yeah. You wanted something that provided that coolness really fast. And not only that, but I wanted to be sure it's better I turn it up than wanting something that need more yeah if you understand 
I, I didn't take the 12 because I said at the end of the day I can turn down the 18 instead of wanting something more than the 12 and then have to go back and purchase again. Yeah, there it is. Um, or farm container used as a you know cooling room or storage for ground provisions and it's using he's using the 18,000 BTU solar powered air conditioning unit it's not connected to the grid any at all it's just set up to run on solar power five 430 watt uh, monocrystalline panels are on top of the container and that's all that is providing the power to the solar powered air conditioning unit all right guys so one quick thing i want to point out really quickly is the fact that these units these air conditioning units solar powered air conditioning units are diy devices pretty much do it yourself easy to install easy to set up this particular version was done by the customer so um the installation was done by the customer from the fuses fuse box the outdoor unit indoor unit everything was set up by him it's no different from a standard mini split unit same setup the only thing is these have an additional power source and that's solar so there's nothing too technical about these devices but um, we have customers from different caribbean islands right now who have purchased their devices customers from cayman islands dom rep st vincent who have watched the videos that i've done before and they're like yo i'm gonna purchase this device because i love it they've already gone ahead and purchased their devices and they're setting it up themselves as, as, as i said this one was uh just powered by solar power only however they're hybrid so you can have them hook up or connected to the grid power if you're in jamaica you can have them set up and um, connected to gps as well while the sun is out it will be using the solar panels as the main power source and as you can see in the other videos that i've done before when there's not enough sunlight then it will pull what it needs from the grid but pretty decent device um, it's really really good for businesses for business places that needs constant cooling throughout the daytime and you operate from nine to five ten to six when the sun is out that's perfect for you all you would need to do is use the sun and solar panels to power your air conditioning units and this will help you to lower your energy consumption this customer who is now using it to cool his produce he himself was the one who did the installation but guys watch the other videos that i've done on a solar powered air conditioning units and you'll see exactly how they work exactly how they operate and now uh, reach out if you have any questions my information is there in the about us section reach out i'll be here to answer it for you but until then take care bless upon yourself